Oh look, I've got a screw missing. Oh, I said I've got a screw loose. Now I know what they're in. Probably taking this apart before, hence why the screw's missing. Oh my god. It was a bit neater than the other one. The other one I took apart was a complete and total literal sandwich. This one's quite packed, but doesn't look to be too bad. It wasn't, this was on not long ago, so I've got to be very careful. Can't be blowing myself up or giving myself a nasty electric shock. Let's have a zoom in a bit. Look at that. Now that's what you call Falkin Pucked Emerson. Is that a power supply maker? Emerson. You can see it right there. I think it is. Emerson. I'll investigate and find out. Anyway, the reason why I'm opening these is because I want to double check. I mean, they're, they're quite a bit old, these Dell power supplies, server power supplies. And I thought it might be a good idea to. Double check, make sure there's no recapping needed. So these are quite old. Not that old, but old enough to be checking capacitors and stuff. So let me zoom back out otherwise I'll forget. And having a general look. Doesn't seem to be too sad. Does that come out? Oh it does. That helps. So, where do we go next? Oh, how cool is that? That separates. Well, I say separates. Well, look at that big cap in that corner there. Freaking doodah. Shit, man. Nippycon, Chemicon. Now, that's what I'm talking about. When you make power supplies, this is how you make power supplies. All you power supply people out there. This is how you do it. Oh, this one lugged as well. The other one was soldered. Which is a bit of a bastard. So, to pull this out any further, I would imagine these two need to come out. Black facing me. Whatever colour it is facing the opposite way. Let me get my handy pliers. Sitting on the tip floor. Trying to get in the way of the shot. Don't worry, these ain't got sharp bits on them. This ain't going very well, is it? Let me come back and get back to that. Okay, that's quite easy to do off camera. Took me like five seconds. So we've got a bit more. We can take that out. That's not high voltage, just like 12 volts odd. Or 24 volts. I'm not actually quite sure. And we've got a ribbon cable. Unusual. On the power supply. Ribbon cables. And the good thing about videoing these things is that if you forget where something plugged in, you can always refer back to your videos. So I suppose it's a good common practice to do so. Oh, look at that. That is sweet as a nut. Right, where shall I unplug it from there or there? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. Here we go. That's the, uh, I don't know if I've got them on shot. They're two separated single power supply. Obviously, not two. This is one single power supply providing 12 volts. I think about 62 amps. So quite a lot of power, I think about 820 watts in total, I think, don't quote me on it. I'll have a look and check that later. So uh, let's jump in and have a look at what we've got and if there's anything that needs doing, any recapping, any component replacing required. That is such a big capacitor. 420 volt. 560 UF, that's the mains bolt capacitor, which is generally called. 
sitting right next to that diode. Can you see that connection right there? What? The? That's that's a bit close, unless it's on the same rail. If I'd have poked closer, I would have found out. So let's have a closer look at these power supplies then. Power supplies, power supply, and have a look. Right, let's have a go at this one. Oh, yeah, that's the model information for people out there that want to know. Let's zoom in a little bit. There's a respect, sorry, 870 watts, not 840. The model number is this one here. Obviously, it's a Dell. And I did some research, and it is made by a company called Emerson, which make industrial power supplies and all that kind of jazz and whatnot. So clearly they made this on behalf or for Dell. So let's take this board out. And so just want to have a closer inspection. Reason being that obviously with servers they're on 24-7 generally. And likewise my home server is on 24-7, which is currently on now. It has two redundant power supplies. Hence why it's still being powered while I've got this one playing hooky. Must admit these screws are in tight and one thing uh, one YouTuber mentions uh, I think it's 12 volt vids I think the guy on 12 volt vids channel always says about these and grounding screws which is what these are and they go into the chassis and they're supposed to be a real tight fit because they're supposed to make contact with ground. A lot of time, cheaper power suppliers, their screws become loose after time and can cause a lot of um, failures, if not complete issues when it comes to delivering power. So that comes off quite easily. It's quite dirty under there. Let me give that also a clean. Where's my clean brush? Anyhow. It's kind of dirt that's coming off, but I don't suppose there's a real major issue. Okay, can't find my actual one, but the wallpaper pasting brush will do. I just like to keep things as clean as possible. I won't clean underneath there. Fans gonna need a clean. I do smoke in my room, so yeah. Comment down below and what you think of that. I'm sure you'll tell me. So put that up top there. This is the actual board we're going to actually have a look at. It's got a corner board cut out. Pretty cool. Also, my eye is here. I'll take a good look to make sure the big fat juicy mother effer cap is discharged. Yep, yeah, point. 145 millivolts, so that's fine. I can be in here, touch it, and not worry about it. They obviously have a discharge resistor as well, which follow the money, as Dave at the EV blog will say. This one doesn't have one, so attached to a relay. I'm sure there's one somewhere, I'm not going to follow it and show, but pfft. I'll look somewhere uh, like currents current sense resistors or some description anyway let's follow how this works shall we the mains comes in live neutral and where does it go oh it's been the other side of the board doesn't it typical I'm not going to trace it out I'm not going to piss about with this sort of stuff so basically mains filter cap see check for bulges no for a general check not really a good idea should really do it with an ESR meter but me having a lacking of tools that's required I'm not going to bother Oops. stay on alligator 448 UF 512 UF yeah that do Within 5%, they're generally rated, so that's fine. I can live with that. Let's have a little scour around the board. Got a nice little uh, 
thermal fuse there, NTC, inrush current limiter. That looks like, I'm not sure if that's a diode. It's labelled, I don't know, I can't see it. And so this is a very tightly packed, this power supply, like majorly. But as you can tell, there's adequate um, filtering and stuff. I mean, big ass common mode chokes and all sorts. So it's got another sense wire on it as well. That's cool. Another big fat common mode choke over here. That looks like, yeah, that's a one microfarad 400 volt uh, capacitor on the input. That's the bridge rectifier down here. I'm not going to say it as Electro Boom does. He's the only one that does it best. So let's have a look at this stuff down here. So I've got a relay, NTC, another little cap, two massive resistors there. They might be fusible resistors or discharge resistors for this big puppy. There's another capacitor down here, some a couple of heat sinks. And so that's got the bridge rectifier on. That's probably a switching tranny. Although I can't see a transformer on this one, unless that is a transformer. What's it labelled? No, it's not a transformer. Okay. Well, so there's something. It's going to be a couple of transistors there. What's that in the plastic wrap? Ooh. Ooh, what is that? Something's in a plastic wrap. I'm not sure if I really want to take it off because. What is that? That is really weird. I don't know what that is. Anyone out there know what that is? I have no idea. It's loose. There's anything. It has got two pins. No, it hasn't. Or is that just shoved in as a protection? Now we've shoved in this protection, there's a couple of uh, looks like a opto isolator bridge or something there. This thing looks like just a bit of paper with some fabric in it. That's a bit strange. Um, so yeah, that's that board. Not many surface components, surface mount component. There are three there, they're probably just opto isolators. And uh, there we go, this is the Emerson brand yet again with a diamond logo you can see the capacitor, the mains bulk capacitor there is so large they had to stick it on a, a little riser board there that's what those two big lugs are there so that's that board sorted doesn't look like I need to replace any capacitors on there as there is not many so let's jump into the next one obviously that's just a fan Ultra Flow, I'm sure it is. Oh, Nidec. Yeah, if it's made by Nidec, you know it's going to be a bastard. 